Hi everyone, my name is James Ivey. I'm Paul Drew. From the Studio Rats, nice. and it's a good day. Uh, new Gear Day is always fun. Not only New Gear to us, but New Gear to the world. <laughs> this is the brand new MEQ driver pedal from British manufacturer Origin FX. And let's get this out of the way. It's built like a tank. It is. It's a, yeah, it's... It's a solid piece of kit. You're not going to worry about that being on your board, are you? Stomp box, I think this is going to fight back and hurt your feet rather Absolutely. than anything else. Styled very similar to most of the Origin FX line. Uh, metal chassis, it, you know, it's bomb proof. Yeah. Awesome thing. Absolutely. It's also got some amazing tricks up its jack sockets. A great sounding drive. It's a great amp, throaty, raw drive sound. Yeah, it's like a modded, to me, Origin Effects would probably object to this, but I think that to me is like, cranked up full, yep. that is like your modded Marshall sort of drive. That's fantastic, my sort of thing. Let's look up close and personal on this thing. Uh, we've got, say, the metal chassis, input and output jacks, all good solid stuff, we love that. We then have the level pot, the drive pot, the mids pot, which is our mid boost. Yep. And we have the cut pot. So you could think of a cut in its non adaptive version, because we've got a little switch here. You could think of the cut a bit like a Vox sort of style cut or a matches sort of style cut, where you can take off some of those sort of harsh. Unwanted highs. Yeah, unwanted highs, exactly. But then we've got an adapt switch as well. Yep, the adapt switch in the middle, um, on or off. And then we have the KSC, which is killer cycles, which is um, effectively the frequency, the boost frequency, if you like. So we can have 0.8 or 800 hertz, 1.3, 1.3 kilohertz, or 1K. Very, very nice. Yeah. Um, now, why those particular frequencies? Well, quite frankly, they're the ones that as guitar players with drive in mind, they're probably the ones we're most concerned with. So let's have a play. Um, we'll get to the, the, the neat trick in a minute, if you like. But what's going on here is what we refer to as a Pull Tech style EQ. Yeah. A Pull Tech, for those of you who don't know, um, where have you been? All the Passion and Warfare fans out there, because um, there's a mention of a Paul Tech in the beginning of Greasy Kid Stuff. Something like that. Um, Paul Tech is a studio EQ, rack mounted EQ from the 50s and 60s. They're, they're some of the most sought after EQs in the studio world. And that sort of technology is now making its way into pedals and into more, you know, more affordable kit. We've got a Paul Tech style EQ built into this pedal, which is awesome. So we can boost and cut in a similar frequency range to produce that kind of amazing Paul Tech tone. So, um, on our mids, we've got everything from 800. 800, so do you want to boost it up full? I'm going to give it the beans. Which is that sort of cocked wah sort of sound. Yes. Going through 1K. Mm -hmm. And then I think where you and I are happiest, 1.3 ish. Absolutely. That frequency there, if you wind that back just a little bit, yeah. that to me is that sort of slash. Especially bit. if you wind the gain up. Yeah, so let's wind the gain up. That to me is that sort of slash. That is the frequencies that is going to really help your guitar cut through a mix. Yeah. Where this thing really comes into its own, its party piece, if you will, is the harmony between adapt mode and the cut control. So if I pull this all the way down, wind the neck pickup back to about, let's say three. We'll okay. say three because we've done some practice on this. <laughs> um, you'll find that actually, as we dial this in, we start to lose the top end, and it's working exactly the same way as uh, the cut control on a matchless or on an AC30, that kind of cut control. When we go into adapt mode, the pedal and the drive circuit and the cut circuit are working in a very sympathetic way with the input, the amount of level coming from the instrument. Mm -hmm. So with it wound back, off, let's wind it in to lose some of that 
。哦，是。We also get a really nice kind of tight, choppy rhythm sound. We want to get funky. Now, what I think this pedal does exceptionally well in this mode, especially with something like a Les Paul, is because obviously you've got the two volume controls, so you can wind back as we've done the neck pickup on the Les Paul to get your clean sound. Then you kick down to the bridge pickup. And because the bridge pickup is set at full tilt, not way on back to three, the cut control has less of an effect because we're feeding it with more beans, Absolutely. if you will. Yeah. And it's just magic for that sound, that effect between. I don't know of another pedal that does it as well as that. Go from proper clean to proper filth. No. Just on the guitar. No, no, absolutely not. It's a really versatile pedal. I love the tone. For me, it's screaming. And this is the bit where I get to play, folks. We'll wind that one up. It's just that magic combination of, you know, being able to ride between full mm -hmm. filth and cleaned up just on your guitar. Yeah. I, I've seen it done on amps, but I've never seen it done with a pedal. I've never seen a pedal do it as well as that pedal. Now let's see what that setting sounds like with the strap. <laughs> pedal not only works really well in higher gain settings, let's have a listen to see what it sounds like with a lower gain setting with the strap. It's an awesome thing. Yeah. Um, I'd like this on my board, please. <laughs> at this point, we should say thank you to the team at Origin Effects for their help and support making this video. Um, I love this thing. It's brilliant. It is really, really cool. Very different to anything else that I've got on my board, that's for sure. Um, so it does that phenomenal trick of clean and filth in one guitar without, without actually standing on anything. Yeah, it's brilliant. Really clever stuff. So really hope you guys got something out of that. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Acts. I'm Paul. I'm James. And we'll see you next time.